But when your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70 Baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23 I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe just the touch of a hand Well, me, I fall in love with you every single day And I just want to tell you I am So honey, now
afternoon and welcome to everyone to the nuptial mass and celebration of marriage of Kyle and Samantha. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness, pour out your grace on these your servants, Kyle and Samantha, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated as we listen to God's Word.
disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Say something 
about the gospel. I think it's really neat that Jesus chose to perform his first miracle at a wedding. It shows us that our Lord wants to be close to married couples. He wants to bless your union to make it something really special. To make it something more than this world could ever offer. And that's to make it holy, something really sacred. And as you can see in the gospel, things didn't go as the couple had planned, right? And that's okay. Because Jesus and his mother Mary were there to intercede for that couple. And things didn't turn out to be just all right, or as they were before, but so much better. Sam and Kyle, today as you invite Jesus Christ into your lives as husband and wife, know that he wants to make your love, your joy, and your faith abundant. So let us now gather before the altar to exchange your vows. My dear friends, Sam and Kyle, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Sam and Kyle, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your hands together and declare your consent before God and His Church. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Take you, Sam. Take you, Sam. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and bad. In sickness and health. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. Hi, Sam. Thank you, Kyle. Be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and bad. In sickness and health, I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. When God has joined, men must not divide. Amen. May the Lord bless these rings which you give to each other as a sign of your love and fidelity. Amen. Sam, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Kyle, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the homeless, and those who are unemployed. May our care and concern for those in need be a sign of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the protection and sanctity of human life, from conception until natural death, may all people be treated with the dignity they deserve as God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those preparing for the sacrament of marriage, may they grow in wisdom and grace, and see their vocation to married life as a sign of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Sam and Kyle, who begin their married life together this day, may their experience of God's love, the support of family and friends, and the blessing of children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have died, especially the relatives and friends of Sam and Kyle, and all who are present for this wedding, may they enjoy perfect happiness and total fulfillment in eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we know that you hear and answer every one of our prayers. Please answer these petitions in accordance with your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the presentation of the guests. So that the sacrament we celebrate 
might draw us back more deeply into the wondrous design of your love. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we praise you, and without end, we acclaim.
come to the altar as they begin their married life, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, they may always be bound together by love for one another. Holy Father, who formed man in her own image, male and female, you created them, so that as husband and wife, united in body and heart, they might fulfill their calling in the world. O God, who to reveal the great design formed in your love, will that the love of spouses for each other should foreshadow the covenant you graciously made with your people, so that by fulfillment of the sacramental sign, the mystical marriage of the Christ of his church might become manifest in the union of husband and wife among your faithful. Graciously stretch out the right hand and release your servants, Sam and Kyle, we pray, and pour into their hearts the power of the Holy Spirit. Grant, O Lord, that as they enter upon this sacramental union, they may share with one another the gifts of your love, and by being for each other, a sign of your presence, become one heart and one mind. May they also sustain, O Lord, by their deeds, the home they are forming, and prepare their children to become members of your heavenly household by raising them in the ways of the gospel. Graciously crown with your blessings your daughter sin, so that by being a good wife and mother, she may bring warmth to her home with a love that is pure and adorn it with welcoming graciousness. Bestow a heavenly blessing also, O Lord, on Kyle and your servant, that he may be a worthy, good, and faithful husband and a provident father. Grant, Holy Father, that desiring to approach your table as a cup of joy in marriage in your presence, they may one day have the joy of taking part in your great banquet in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
partakers at your table, we pray, O Lord, that those who are united by the sacrament of marriage may always hold fast to you and proclaim your name to the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the final blessing, the newlyweds ask me if you would all remain in your seats uh, as they process down the aisle, and then they'll take pictures up front, and that way you can then properly greet them as they exit the church from this side. The Lord be with you. May God the all-powerful Father grant you his joy and bless you and your children. Amen. May the only begotten Son of God stand by you in compassion in good times and in bad. Amen. May the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth his love into your hearts. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all who are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. To all Kyle and Sam's family and friends gathered here today, it's my great joy and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Kyle and Eagle.
so beautiful And I tell her every
When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheek? Darling, I will be loving you
respectful and loving to her as he is. Um, sorry. <laughs> Kyle and Sam are truly meant for each other. They always seem happy together. They are always laughing. They always finish each other's sentences. They are truly two peas in a pod. So at this time, I'd like everyone to grab a glass and wish Sam and Kyle the best of everything. This is truly a marriage made in heaven. I love you both with all my heart. Excuse me. May all your days be happy ones. I love you.
praise. We praise and thank you for sin and fire and for allowing us to witness their love. May the joy of this gathering of family and friends and the food we share be sources of support, nourishment, and signs of your constant love for us, and especially for Sam and Kyle, as they begin their lives together. Bless us and the food we eat, and give us grateful hearts to sing your praise and care for each other, now and forever. Amen.
So uh, on all three of our behalf, I would like to congratulate Sam and Kyle on a special day. And we cannot begin to express how happy we are for both of them. I would like to give a special, special shout out to Sam's parents, Deb and Larry. My and Kyle's parents. Kyle and Larry's parents. Sam, you look amazing every day. But tonight, you look absolutely stunning. You're smart, funny, especially when you're drinking. <laughs> we all know she does that well. <laughs> I'm sure every guy here can agree it's a shame you're taking off the market. And I'm sure for Kyle, every girl here can agree it's the same old guy. <laughs> However, you are welcome for letting you win the weight loss competition that we've been in for years. This is your special day, so I think you can have this one. <laughs> All kidding aside, and not speaking for myself and my brothers as well, we couldn't ask for a better sister in law to make our baby brother the happiest man in the world. <laughs> He's extremely lucky to have found a tutor like yourself. <laughs> it is evident how happy you make one another. If you know Kyle and Sam, you know that they are each other's better half, and they bring out the best in each other. In all the years I've known Sam and Kyle, I hardly ever heard them fight, except one time in a winning series. <laughs> it was all over Kyle not doing the dishes. <laughs> I'm glad you're able to overcome that one, even though I'm sure Kyle doesn't do the dishes. We knew Sam would fit right in with the Ewald family from the very beginning. Oh, no. We knew this why? Oh, no. Because the second visit to the Ewald household, oh, no. let's just say she needed Kyle and my dad's assistance to fix the toilet. Oh, no. <laughs> no. If that's not love, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Sam, you're officially an Ewald. As my dad would say, you were hit with the old curse. Not only am I gaining a sister, but I'm gaining a best friend as well. Someone who I enjoy hanging out with, taking trips with, and just talking to like a sister I never had. And I couldn't be happier for my brother. Sam, welcome to the panel. As I, as I was preparing my speech tonight, I wanted to talk about what I thought a brother was. I don't think an accident at birth, Kyle, <laughs> makes people brothers. It might make them siblings, but brotherhood is something you need to work on. A brother to me is a person who is there when you need them, someone who picks you up, a person who sits up for you when no one else will. A brother is always a friend, and that's exactly who Kyle is. One of my biggest joys in life is watching my brother grow up the man he is today. So as we're here tonight to celebrate Kyle moving on to his next chapter of his life, I want to let him know I am proud of him. I'm proud of the guy who he has become. And one of the best ways that he has shown who he is is the woman he chose to be his wife. For all of you who know Kyle, he had to stay over before he even started. In the words of Kyle, check. <laughs> it's over and all that planning is done. Your honey was your honeymoon is basically over too. <laughs> in all serious in all seriousness, uh, the wedding isn't over and has just begun from here on out. Let this day forward bring nothing but health and happiness to the guys. So to my brother, my best friend, and my new sister, can we please stand and raise our glasses and let's shake those asses. Cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Ewald.
everyone one more time for Madeline and Mary Kay, but for Ryan. Wonderful speeches.
Oh, my God, it is me. But the 